when we talk about batteries, we usually talk about range, but what I'm really asking here is about potential, because the moment you increase power density, when you pack more capabilities into less space, you don't just change how far something can go, you change what becomes possible. This is where chemistry meets creativity and where design stops being about limits and starts being about leverage. So how does the increase of power density change what's possible in EV designs? Increase in energy density changes what's possible for a number of reasons. One really exciting reason is sports cars will be lighter. You can now make, I mean, look at that Chinese, that Chinese electric car, sports car. It's the, com the company is building it. I believe they're primarily owned by Xiaomi. So it's basically a Xiaomi sports car. It's similar size to say something like a Porsche 911, but it weighs 1,250 kilograms, which is lighter than a, a Porsche 911, lighter than a Lamborghini 296 GTB, lighter than a Lamborghini Huracan. And yet it does have good range. It's got range of, I believe about 500 kilometers. So the high energy density in these batteries means you can put a smaller battery in, and eventually, you know, when we see these energy densities, like Cadle's new battery tech, they're saying the new condensed battery version two is going to be 450 watt hours per kilogram. Then they've got another battery they're working on that's going to be 500 watt hours. You're going to see battery packs going to be much smaller. You can be able to put in a 30 kilowatt hour battery in a sports car or a normal car. You're going to find EVs will be much lighter within 10 years than internal combustion. Now people say they're heavier, which is not always true. The Model 3 is not heavier than the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, which is the same size. But a lot of EVs are heavier. But in the future, they won't be. They'll actually be much, much lighter. Solid state batteries, when we're getting this energy density of, you know, plus 1,000 watt hours per kilogram, which is gonna happen eventually, you can put maybe a 20, 30 kilowatt hour battery in a family car. That's what eventually will happen. And the the car will be incredibly lightweight. You're looking at, look at these little in-hub motors that are like 20 kilograms, putting out 600 plus horsepower. So I think the combination is gonna be just, the design, like think about an engine, right? General Motors, right, they, right. Tried, to make new, they tried to make the new Corvette and they're like, well, we've got to put the engine mid-engine, we've got to make it a mid-engine car because we have these problems with putting it in a front engine supercar. So they make it a mid-engine car, it's an absolute nightmare to do it. You got to think about all the trade-offs, where should it go, you know, handling balance, get 50-50 weight distribution, really, really hard to do with an EV, 50-50 weight distribution is a piece of piss. It is so easy. So it's going to, um, it's going to be in any kind of car you can imagine, there's no constraint. The battery will be quite small, the motors will be tiny, you do whatever you want. You can build any kind of car you want. It's going to be, the, the world is going to look like.